Hey everybody, Brandon Hepner here again from Rock Run Physical Therapy and I just wanted to talk with you about one more thing regarding total knee replacement surgery and that's a complication that sometimes we see and we call uh, we call it stiff knee syndrome. Okay, that is uh, when we see somebody who has uh, flexed knee gait so they can't extend their knee out all the way as they're walking or, or even laying down, they, their knee is always bent a little bit. The knee stays swollen for a long period of time. Um, it's kind of hot, sometimes a little bit red, but it's not. There's no infection, um, and there's a lot of pain that goes on with with uh, stiff knee syndrome. In addition to weakness in the quad. Okay, so we have flex knee gait. We have uh, swelling. Uh, there's usually some heat associated with it, and it's weak. Okay, uh, stiff knee syndrome. I want to talk to with you about this because there's definitely ways to prevent this. One of, the, one of the biggest things that you can do to prevent stiff knee syndrome is to keep the joint moving. So the biggest cause of, of this problem is immobility. Uh, sometimes people are in a lot of pain and so they don't want to they don't want to get up they don't want to move that joint and the joint gets stiff scar tissue starts to form um, around that joint and won't allow it to move um, and so sometimes with stiff knee syndrome that you end up having to go back into surgery and they do what's called a manipulation they put you to sleep and basically they just take your knee and bend it really fast and hard there's usually a loud pop in the in the or um, you're asleep um, but we want to prevent you from having to go in for uh, an additional surgery so got to keep the joint moving movement is your friend there's an old saying in physical therapy and it's motion is lotion so even if it's sore you move it as much as you can in that pain-free range and slowly start to increase that range of motion that you're moving Okay, um, so the top three things that you can do to prevent stiff knee syndrome are number one, mobility, keep it moving, okay? Number two is wear your compression socks, okay? So we wanna keep that swelling to a minimum. There is a, a surgeon locally who's a really good surgeon, but over the past year or so, he stopped uh, prescribing his patients to wear the compression sock. And I totally disagree. And when we get one of his patients, we recommend that they, that they go get a compression sock. It helps prevent the stiff knee syndrome, gets the swelling down, which helps control the pain. If we can control the pain, then it's easier for you um, and you're more likely to keep the joint moving. So the compression sock is really a good idea, okay? And then the, the third thing that you can do to help prevent the stiff knee syndrome is what we talked about in the last video, and that is coming in for one to two visits before before your surgery and doing a little prehab. We talked about rehab is after surgery, prehab is before surgery, um, and studies show that you do a little bit of, of prehab, one to two visits before surgery, and you improve your chances of recovery by almost 30%, okay? And that includes making sure that you don't develop the stiff knee syndrome problem. So uh, mobility, keep it moving. Number two, wear your compression sock. I know they're uncomfortable. I know they're hard to get on and off, but they're worth it. Um, after a couple months, you'll be happy that you did. And number three, let us, let us help develop a an exercise program for you that you can do before surgery to make sure that your recovery is that much faster and that much better uh, if you have questions with that shoot me an email back i'd love to hear from you and i uh, hope you have a another super fantastic day